Steven Spielberg made an epic size motion picture to take home his Academy Award. Leonard Maltin is here with a story of a guy who has won twice, and his actors aren't even as tall as an Oscar. Leonard. Very true, John. Now, Nick Park may not be as well known as Steven Spielberg just yet, but he's on his way to greater recognition as a young master of a unique brand of filmmaking. You see, Nick creates clay animation, a painstaking process that may yield only four seconds of finished film a day. But the results are really something to see. Oh. It's my turn for breakfast this morning, Gromit. I like a three-minute egg. Eh? Well, uh, uh, steady on. Wow! Gromit! Welcome to the oddball world of Wallace and Gromit, two clay animated characters who star in this year's Oscar-winning animated short, The Wrong Trousers. <sighs> After picking up his Oscar, animator Nick Park stopped by at E.T. to reflect on his spiraling career and his good fortune yeah, at the yeah, Academy I, Awards. I mean, I, I've been absolutely overwhelmed, really knocked out by it. I, in fact, I went backstage with it straight after I, I, I walked to the podium and uh, people were talking to me and, and telling me what to do and I, I just couldn't hear anybody. <laughs> you know, my brain had kind of left me and it was floating <laughs> around somewhere. But when it comes to his work, Nick is very well grounded, thank you. He has to be, to spend more than one year doing the painstaking work that goes into a film of this kind, one frame at a time. His lovable English eccentrics, Wallace and Gromit, first appeared in a short Nick made as a student called A Grand Day Out. In this little epic, the two companions journey to the moon in search of cheese to go with their crackers. Then Park turned to the animal world for a hilarious short called Creature Comforts, which won him his first Academy Award. Well, sometimes you can't, you can't get out and about as much as you would like to. You're stuck in for some reason, like I'm stuck in today. But now Nick is concentrating on his two self-made stars, Wallace and Gromit, and hoping for bigger things to come. I think I have always wanted them to become well-known characters. Uh, not that they are yet, but this is certainly has been, given them a big push. <laughs> But it takes a lot of pushing, pulling, smoothing, and sculpting to make these characters come to life. Not merely to move, but to act, which is where Nick really shines. He gave me a vivid demonstration with Gromit, up close and personal. You can make him look a bit angry as well if you just press his eyebrow down. The expression changes completely. And then you can make him look a bit brighter, a bit more surprised. I think what remains with, with me since the very first time I, I animated anything at the age of 13 is still the magic of, of producing animation. Just seeing something inanimate moving on screens gives me a big thrill still. It sure is fun for us in the audience. Next films I think just get better and better the more I see them. If you want to see The Wrong Trousers, the Oscar winner, it's playing as part of Spike and Mike's original Festival of Animation. San Francisco and Boston dates in theaters this weekend and around the country in the months to come. So much work on the screen. Oh, yeah, so much so patience. Thanks, Leonard. We'll take a break. Be right back.